welcome to Iron Paulsboro. We are at the gymnasium at Paulsboro High School on campus uh, as part of the celebration of 100 years, the banquet that's also recognizing not only the 100th year anniversary, but the first induction of the distinguished alumni class. Irma, you are, you're on the Board of Education. You serve on this committee. This is a spectacular evening. This is a real Red Raider night, John. It, what distinguished people we have here. We're honoring what our Red Raiders have come back, our graduates, and Dr. Holcraft is here, and he's from the class of 1939, John. Wow, so, so he's, he's the representing the oldest class? I would say so that is here, yes. My mom couldn't come, she's class 38. Of course, she's in nursing home, but her heart's here, but yes. I was really taken with the time uh, to put together all the presentations, all the memorabilia spanning 100 years. You talk about a time capsule. Time capsule, John. Tonight I just got a majorette outfit from the class of 1958 with the hat, and they wanted to be in our display. Well, I'd rather have you wear that for community notes. Well, John, they wouldn't let me sit on the Pegasus, so, you know, ride the Pegasus. Well, actually, it's early yet. It, yeah, it's early. it, it could change. We'll be right back from highlights from the celebration of uh, Paulsboro High School Centennial uh, Celebration uh, of Red Tie event. We'll be right back. Multi-policy discount. Paperless discount. Paid in full discount. Homeowners discount. Safe driver discount. Chipmunk family reunion. Someone stole the nuts. Squirrel Jail. Justice. Countless discounts. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice. Think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. For everything, there's a season, and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Beth McBride Foley and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. And welcome. We are here at the Red Tie Gala at the gymnasium of Paulsboro High School. It's sort of a dull evening. This culminates a year's worth of celebration of recognizing Paulsboro High School's 100 years of serving the public with the doors opening in 1916. Also the first induction of, Walter, I guess what is the academic? Uh, it's the Hall of Distinguished Alumni because we want to recognize folks from all professions and all careers. Wonderful. I, th I thought it was going to be academic, which would automatically disqualify me under any circumstances of any kind, other than the fact that I did graduate from Paul's High School. Walter, you have been the driving, you have been the driving force of this year's long celebration culminated with this evening. Uh, this is a beautiful night. The displays cover 100 years. It's a lot of history. It is a lot of history, and it's a proud history of a school that I think many people just don't understand. This school has served people from 27 different communities in South Jersey in its history and graduated nearly 10,000 students. It is the lifeblood of the workforce over the last century for South Jersey. It, it, that's not an exaggeration. Uh, when I look at the pictures, first of all, just a, an interesting note. The first wing was built in 1916. It cost $60,000 to build. Quite an investment at that time. Uh, remember, a different time. I mean, I renovated a house on Greenwich Avenue. I think we spent more in the renovations than it cost to build, build a high school. But the history begins in 1916. It covers a changing America, a changing landscape, but there's a constant in the value that this high school has brought. There is, and, and when you think of the foresight of the, the Board of Ed and the community back in the early 1910s to plan and build a high school of this magnitude when the first graduating class was going to be seven students, that was remarkable insight. And you talk about the cost. 60000 was an extraordinary price in the day. When we renovated and put new shingles on the roof in 1995, it cost 95000 Just, Just amazing. You know, I read with interest, and, and uh, if you're attending tonight, of course, you're leaving with one of these. 
And uh, Walter said there may be a reprint for public to see. It's almost like a miniature yearbook. It's got a wonderfully, wonderfully written comprehensive history of the high school. And I read with interest that in that first graduating class, and actually maybe the first class that had gone all four years in this building, women still didn't have the right to vote. That when you look at the history, it really spans American history. Yes, women didn't have the right to vote, and in their yearbook they were saying, but we're hoping too soon. And that's, uh, that's a remarkable part of our history. A, 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 just, just a big part. Something else that strikes me, and again, if you get a copy of this, you'll be able to tell better. Uh, the high school recognizes those who have served in the military in a beautiful redo of the original entrance. I was struck at the number of names. I, I didn't realize so many young people had served, especially in the World War II theater, and, uh, and didn't make it. No, and that is, it's a very solemn entrance, and it is the entrance to the original building. All of our students pass through that now. And we know that the, while there's 57 names up there, which is just uh, a very solemn contribution for a small town, there are names we don't have, because this town was important during the Revolution when 1,500 Royal Marines probably marched right in front of what is now Paulsboro High School to take a fort. I, know, I noticed your note because I saw your hand in that research and you couldn't quite get those names together. I saw some Civil War names. Um, but again, as you walk along the wall in this gymnasium um, and the beautiful display spanning the 100 years, it's a time capsule. It is a time capsule. And, and again, when you look at what's there, it's people of character, 10,000 graduates from this school and when you look at their contributions throughout the century, and you look at their, their base here in the school, it's, it's very humbling. Uh, students leave Paulsboro High School, and they're successful in all walks of life. They know how to get along with people. They value people. They value diversity. And anything that you need to be successful, you've always been able to get in this building. Well said, Walter. And uh, very grateful to Walter Quint. His wife is here as well with him. As I mentioned, the driving force. But, you know, Walter retired as superintendent from this high school, came back for another stint, has been involved uh, working with the new superintendent. But his heart is here, and it truly, it truly shows this evening. This is a beautiful evening. Great programs going to follow. Fred's going to have some highlights of it. We're going to have a few more interviews. Stay with us. We're coming right back. Paulsboro High School celebrating 100 years. I travel all around the state, and... Phillipsburg, you guys heard of Phillipsburg, right? <laughs> as soon as they hear I'm from Gloucester County, all they do is talk about Fallsburg. <laughs> and, you know, and it's amazing the reputation that this school has around the state of New Jersey. It's, you know, it's a small school with a giant heart. And you're respected around the state, and you've earned that respect. So I believe in being brief, so I just want to congratulate you on 100 years. You know, it was 100 years of a lot of hard work. And a lot of honest work came out of it, a lot of good people came out of it. You have an amazing list of distinguished alum that are going to be honored. And again, I'm, I'm thrilled to represent Paulsboro. Thrilled to have this guy because he bleeds Paulsboro every single day. So we don't forget it. And I, didn't, I was going to mention my stuff, but I, when I heard the other things earlier, I figured I should do that. <laughs> That's what I thought. But again, congratulations to you all. Thank you. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.landoffyfuneralhome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Come on down Route 55 to the Millville Airport. Visit Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms, a gun shop with a woman's touch. Buying, selling, and trading firearms and military items, especially seeking World War II, German, Japanese, and American items. Buying single items or entire collections. 
That's Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms at the Millville Airport, 21 Peterson Street, next to the Glastown Brewing Company. And welcome back. Uh, with me now, another of the inductees into the inaugural alumni, distinguished alumni class is Newt Weiss. Of course, he's been on the program on many occasions. Last time, I think he was explaining to me the difference between LED bulbs and incandescent bulbs. But tonight's a special night as he joins this elite group, which is the first class. Newt, now you were class of what? 1942. And off to the war you went, because I, I, I read in your bio, and I don't think we've ever talked about it on the air, but you were, you were in the Battle of the Bulge. Correct. We were the ones that were annihilated. The Germans surrounded us, and, and we went online the 10th and the 16th, the uh, German hit us. Now, and, and you survived that, and, and so many of your division didn't. There, there had to be a reason. George was walking after me, because I uh, still haven't figured out how I got out. I had a buddy next to me, he got captured. So somebody was looking after me. Somebody was looking after you. New, your career spends many years. I mean, you came back, uh, formal education, back to the family business, and a beautiful family. And uh, tonight, you join a group of uh, other Paulsboro High School graduates. Um, it's, I, I think it's a rightful honor for you. I think it's very deserved. Yes, I can feel that, uh, I don't know how to put it in words, but I feel humble and proud of what, the, get, what I'm receiving this evening for graduates of Paulsboro High. Now, Newt, so, so you were, uh, so you finished up in 42 and right into the service? Yeah, right into the service. And when I came back in 46, I uh, went to finish my uh, three more years at Penn State and then started the family business in 1949. Was, was that on the GI Bill? Yes, that was on the GI Bill. Uh, and, you know, there was another benefit that was well earned. But, Newt Bigger, you know, you're surrounded by a large family tonight. I can't believe how, how, how large the grandchildren are. Oh, yeah, they grew up fast. I'm hoping they'll have great-grandchildren, but so far, it hasn't well, happened. <laughs> I, I, no, I'm sure they get there. Also, too, you were an avid tennis player all three years, but you played on the high school team. I didn't realize they had a high school team in the 40s playing tennis. Yeah, Mr. Hangen, he was our uh, tennis uh, instructor, and he said, you'll be able to play until your 70s. We played it until our 80s and almost 90s. <laughs> That's beautiful, Newt. That's absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Newt, and congratulations to you. Thank you, John. Visiting with Newt Weiss, uh, part of the inaugural class being inducted as Paulsboro High School Distinguished Alumni. And of course, Mr. Weiss, Newt Weiss, uh, distinguished long before the ceremony was held. And what a great community service he has brought, uh, both with his family and his personality. Right after graduating in 85, I was a Gibbstown boy who came here. And uh, I couldn't be prouder of the high school I attended, the teachers who have touched my life, my, my life and, uh, and everything that you do for this entire community. Bob Denninger, uh, Carmel Marina, and I, we actually run on the same ticket every time. Uh, so it's three Paulsburg grads uh, who run for re-election every three years, and I could be proud to be part of that. So congratulations to everyone, board members, uh, superintendent, administration, all the teachers, uh, and to the students for keeping uh, Paulsburg Pride alive as well. And uh, congratulations, have a great evening. Another one of the distinguished alumni being inducted into the first class tonight is Joycelyn Gaines, who served as valedictorian of her class, went on to a very distinguished career, born and raised in Paulsboro. Her father, George Gaines, was a longtime public servant and good friend, I might add, as well. Joycelyn, congratulations to you. Uh, pretty, pretty distinct honor to be part of the first class. I thank you ever so much. It is an honor. Absolutely an honor. But you know, everything that I've ever thought about came from Paulsboro. From my family, from my my family, from the church, and from my good buddy, the ex-mayor of, of Fallsburg. Well, also, and, and Joyce, tell people because your 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 professional career in the pharmaceutical industry was a sophisticated line of work. Tell us about that. Well, in other words, I started out with Jefferson uh, University Hospital as a bacteriologist. And uh, at the point in time that it was time for my sister, who was nine years younger than I, was ready to go to school, I realized that my $95 a week what was not. Yep. So just by luck, just by chance, I answered an ad with Merkin Company. And in doing that, uh, there are several things that I did, but the most important thing as far as I'm concerned is 
I started out as a artisan inspection group, developed that program for, uh, for our biologicals. And uh, I always told them, if you go home without your homework, Joyce is going to be very upset. Very good. Visiting with Joyce Lynn Gaines, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the members of the inaugural class of Paulsboro High School, distinguished alumni. And, uh, and Joyce Lynn was always distinguished. Tonight is formally recognized. We're coming right back. back. Multi-policy discount. Paperless discount. Paid in full discount, homeowner's discount, safe driver discount, chipmunk family reunion, someone stole the nuts, squirrel jail, justice. Countless discounts. Now that's progressive. Call or click today. Thinking about a new appliance or an LCD TV? Don't think twice, think Weiss. Weiss True Value has a full line of LCD TVs plus a great variety of appliances. And of course, hardware items like True Test Paints, Master Mechanic Tools, Electrical Supplies, Key Duplicating, and Rug Doctor Rentals. And for repairs on screens and windows, look no further. Weiss True Value, from making keys to selling appliances and LCD TVs. Don't think twice, think Weiss. 39 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. For everything, there's a season, and a time for everything under heaven. A time for sharing, a time for caring, a time for remembering, and a time for parting. When that time arrives, let Beth McBride Foley and Thomas D. Foley at the McBride Foley Funeral Home help you in your time of need. Offering a wide variety of funeral services from cremation to traditional, McBride Foley Funeral Home has been helping families with the loss of a loved one with over 50 years of combined service. McBride Foley Funeral Home, 228 West Broad Street, Paulsboro. And welcome back. Uh, as is mentioned at the top of the show, and I'm not sure when these interviews will run, we're probably going to put them between different shows, uh, but uh, not only is this evening marking the 100th anniversary of the high school, but it also marks the inaugural class of distinguished alumni being recognized uh, for their accomplishments in the real world. With me now is one of those that was inducted this evening, uh, Debbie Bundens Scott. Did I get it right, Debbie? Yes, you Thank did. you. Wonderful story. Uh, class of 65, yes. uh, but actually moved on to what university first? Actually, I went to Elizabethtown College first, and then I transferred as a junior into American University in Washington. I graduated with a BA in 68. That last name of Bundens, that's familiar. I'm thinking of Donald Bundens, related? Distant cousin. Nice. I think everybody with the name of Bundens is related some way or another. Same Bursicelli, by the way. <laughs> it's a very small pool. Uh, Debbie's service uh, uh, to this country uh, is significant. Uh, and uh, I'm going to ask her to tell us about that because you served in the Reagan White House. Yes, I did. I started actually as a volunteer, and uh, when my husband died in 1983, I went on staff in the press office, and then I moved over to uh, the media relations department. I was associate director of media relations for President Reagan. It's a pretty exciting time. Now, were you there his entire eight years? or I was there for seven. <laughs> I started in 81, just after he was shot, and I left at the end of uh, 87. But that didn't end your career? No, I went on to uh, be a part of the Bush administration for first George Bush, and I was a writer for uh, Mrs. Bush as first lady. Very, very, very exciting stuff. Now, tell a little story. I mentioned it to Debbie when I got to introduce myself to her tonight. Uh, Jack Souter flew Ronald Reagan's helicopter. Debbie was in the Reagan White House for seven years. And also, too, Pauline Lucarella, who I know very well, was a high school sweetheart who came out of Bridgeport, New Jersey, was in the United States Navy and served in Nancy's Reagan staff at the White House. So at a given time during the Reagan years, there were three Paulsboro High School people in that staff. That's pretty wild. I went to school with Jerry Lucarella. Would that be her brother? I, that, you know, I want to say that it is. In Bridgeport? Yeah. yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. What, a, what a small world. It, it, it is a small world. So now, you know, by the way, some hardcore Democrats from Paulsboro have to look very differently upon the Reagan administration because of the Paulsboro influence. <laughs> well, I think Reagan is universally recognized now as being a good president. We knew it then. <laughs> they, you know, and yes, and yes, uh, you know, they, they were not easy times either. No. And I was in Los Angeles for, to attend the Academy Awards when, uh, when he was uh, shot at, and the Academy Awards were postponed that night. Oh, my Back goodness. Day, yeah. 
I start well that was right after it was March 30th of 1981 and I received a call a couple of days later I used to do volunteer work at the Kennedy Center and one of the volunteers said do you have time to come to the White House and be a volunteer at the White House he was getting something like 10,000 get well cards a day wow. that was in addition to 15,000 regular correspondence a day in those days no internet no, no emails or anything and, and somebody responded to them I would think we did we responded to every single card Every single card, everything that was sent to the White House, I don't know how it is today. I mean, today it's really hard to get through to uh, even voicemail. I mean, it's, it's very, very different. But back in those days, we had the White House operators who knew everybody, knew everything. They knew if I was out sailing on the Chesapeake, they'd find me. Yeah, because, again, they were different times. Sure. Well, by the way, nice of you to make the trip, and congratulations on being included in this first group. Uh, Paulsboro High School people are everywhere. That's true. That's true. It's, it's really fun, though, to be back here at Paws for High today. And it's very, 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 very nice to have met you, by the way. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you for the nice service to of the country. Me, too. Thank you. Welcome back. <laughs> I see a lot of great, great people here tonight, familiar faces from many years ago when I grew up in Paws there's a lot of pride and tradition in this school. And uh, actually, I didn't know I was going to speak today. He told me to come up here. Actually, the principal told me to come up here. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's, it's, it's really a, a great affair here. I mean, growing up in this town, you know, as a kid, you could walk the streets and do what you had to do. If you messed up, you know, somebody told your parents. And, uh, Paul messed up more than I did, so. <laughs> but that actually, uh, it, it's, it's touchy. And uh, I'm just glad to be back here. And I, I never left. And you got my son and my nephew in the back pouring soda. I hope they didn't mess your order up. <laughs> actually, you got three wrestlers back here. And I like to say, we would love to have this crowd at a wrestling match. So come out and support us. Thanks for coming back, and God bless everyone. Life is a journey that we travel with a lot of uncertainty. When your family is faced with change and you're in need of understanding, direction, honesty, and professionalism, we at the Landoffy Funeral Home have a tradition of assisting you with all of your needs in any way that we can. We offer many affordable funeral services. Please feel free to call us with any questions you may have or visit us at www.LandoffiFuneralHome.com. Rizzo Family Chiropractic Center in Gibstown offers pain relief with a difference. Using specific chiropractic adjustments, Rizzo Family Chiropractic will get to the root of your problem quickly. Bring your headaches, neck, back, joint, or limb pain to Dr. Karen Rizzo. If you have recurring pain, chiropractic can help. Rizzo Family Chiropractic can relieve many sources of pain without extended treatment and ongoing therapy. Give your family the gift of caring professional pain relief with a difference. Rizzo Family Chiropractic. Come on down Route 55 to the Millville Airport. Visit Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms, a gun shop with a woman's touch. Buying, selling, and trading firearms and military items, especially seeking World War II, German, Japanese, and American items. Buying single items or entire collections. That's Smith & Jackson Military Antiques and Firearms at the Millville Airport, 21 Peterson Street, next to the Glastown Brewing Company. And welcome back. We hope you have enjoyed the footage of what really turned out to be a magical evening at Paulsboro High School as 100 years of the high school celebrated and as important the inaugural class for the uh, distinguished alumni group. Speech making was really, really had great feel to it. Uh, Fred and Judy McKenzie and Amy shot a lot of footage, so we'll probably be filtering in. If you didn't see someone you thought you were going to see, they'll be coming in subsequent shows. We'll drop them in. But now it's time for Community Notes with Irma Stevenson. We're in a little bit of a different setting today to take advantage of Fred being on the camera so uh, if you see horses in the background Irma thought she would do the segment as Lady Godiva for the community notes which would have been outstanding but we couldn't talk a horse into it so we're just going to do it the regular way Irma that was a magical night at the high school John we work so hard our committee but everyone works so hard Dr. Quinn and Terry the co-chairpersons the people from Paulsboro High School 1914 we had pictures and you saw the sweaters and all and I can never it's 
nothing but Paul's for pride, tradition, and respect, and that night showed it. And by the way, a lot of emotion and a lot of heart. And I watched around the room as people gathered in groups and took pictures of classmates that they hadn't mm -hmm. seen for a while, people back home. Uh, one of the recipients hadn't been home since 1965. No. Uh, and you could sense uh, a real comfort level uh, being able to look back a bit. Uh, the, you know, again, it, it, it just ties generations together. Well, my mother was class of 38, she couldn't make it, but, and Dr. Holcraft was class of 39, and he was there. Yep, very cool. So we just had a wonderful time. I thank everybody, and it's nothing like being home in the hallow halls. Well, sold out as well, turned people away. Irma, how about some notes? Um, happy birthday to Chris O'Leary, Mike Funk, April Ziger, Bruce Munyon, Gail DiMarco, Helen Chevaroli, Alicia Elam, Jim Matura, Debbie Mincy, Patty Farrow, Stephanie Stevenson, uh, Joan Snyder, and Jennifer Turner. And happy anniversaries to Dr. Tom and his wife, Rene Love. We love Dr. Love at the ER in uh, Underwood. Uh, John and Ann Williams, and Nancy and Mark Gaughan. How about, by the way, how is Tom Roger doing? It? And get well soon to Tom Roger. Hopefully he's watching. Tom, I just talked to Tom. He's in manor care in West Stepford. He's finally in rehab. They think it was a virus, John. They felt that a virus attacked his body which can happen uh he's having rehab for two weeks and tom's raring to get back home very good mm -hmm. john i have a special 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 ornament memento the class in 1976 is now selling the 2017 phs commemorative ornaments 12 dollars they're a great gift for any anyone but especially our phs graduates who have everything the first this will be the first uh, yep, 10, a 10. Yep. There will be a series of 10. They already have given, the class in 1976 have already given a check to our Pegasus Education Foundation of the Paulsworth District. And they're going to set up a scholarship from from just the monies here. They've been selling them all over, let me tell you. They, uh, Jim Stewart, who talks to me from Colorado, uh, they're finalizing, like I said, the scholarship. It will be the first of a 10-year series of commemorative ornaments having PHS different logos, and each year will be different, three inches, full color. The PHS class in 1976 wishes to return as much as they were given from graduating from Paulsboro High School. Uh, you can uh, get them at Weiss's, uh, Hometown Deli in Paulsboro, and also Babes in uh, Gippstown. And you can go, mail order, go online, you know you're from Paulsboro, and click on 2017 Ornament. Check out the Paulsboro class in 1976. Uh, there'll be a Paulsboro Day selling them, and they've sold quite a few. So let's help, let's help our class Oh, they're beautiful, beautiful. They are. It, that, that is a penciled color pencil drawing and they'll be having more and I was so honored and privileged to be asked to go to the reunion class 1976 that was our son's waltz and I had a good time John <laughs> I'm sure you brought youthful enthusiasm to the event Irma, anything yeah. else? Class of 1978 will be planning their 40th class reunion for October 2018. Our class, the wonderful class of 1957, we're going to have our 60th reunion Saturday, October 21st at Homecoming at Paulsburg. And then we're going to Nina's, more information to follow. Class of 1977, the 40th class reunion, October 21st. And they're going to be at the Homecoming ga Gala. Uh, May 9th, the Junior High Instrumental Vocal Choir will be at the high school, 7 p.m. Our All Sports Banquet will be on May 25th. And our Paulsburg Golden Anniversary Reunion Club, Sunday, June the 25th at Alettos. We're honoring class of 67. Call Mark Camp or me. Mark is 423-1554. If you, even if you started in your class in freshman year and didn't finish, you are included, John. Uh, it's a good group. They draw over 500 people, gave over $16,000 in scholarships last year. So if you're, a member, if you're not a member of the Golden Anniversary Club, uh, you should be because it helps. Uh, for Amy Cook, who couldn't be with us, for Bill Crane, our producer, who couldn't be with us, and for Fred Buchter, behind the camera, and a great effort, by the way, to all them on the uh, evening at the high school. They covered a lot of ground as well as Judy McKenzie jumping in for some additional footage. Irma? John, there's nothing like Paul's for Pride. It was a great night. On to the next hundred years. And uh, Irma, one more time. Well, maybe I'll be there. Who knows? A go big red and see you on Broad Street. Until uh, next time.